my philosophy on music and really focusing on like the, the positive uh, effects that music can have. Music can make you feel anyway. Uh, it can make you feel sad. It can make you feel uh, rage. It can make you feel uh, like reflective. Um, I, think, I think of it as a gift and I think of it as a responsibility and I think there's not a, enough of that. Uh, there's a lot of music and there are a lot of people, especially in hip hop, who I think don't really have necessarily a passion or a purpose and that's something that I like, not preach, but just um, emphasize to like pretty much anyone I meet if we like have any kind of conversation about music to like uh, this this is a responsibility. It's a universal language. Everyone is listening uh, if they want to. If, if you have enough of a following or you're reaching enough people, like people are really listening to what you're saying. Um, and you have the power to transform them. Origins are jazz. He was a sax player by uh, trade from fourth grade. Uh, traveled to Europe, played in jazz festivals. Being in another country and seeing that music was like a universal language that you literally could speak to anyone with this this one form of communication uh, and like move people and make them feel things. The underlying theme in everything that I do is you feel like there's been some type of uh, there's now some balance, like some balance has been restored. I watch from when it my secretaries, and if the game is all love, then I'm set for sure. Skin way too hot for me to play cool, gotta find the right temperature. Hotter than the kettle on the stove, where's the teacup? Welcome to the party, we're getting down at it, we up. No surprise now, the price now for the future. My time is prime now, your eyes are down from the beaches. Touch down. Numbers on the board, her class on the track. Now they run into the floor like a hundred meter dash. Couple hundred on the dash, way I'm running through this cash. Call me hundred meter class, and I'm still screaming, what? Yellow lights. Took a couple of tents, cause I realized what you fed to do right now. The next fellow might tomorrow. Anybody got a light to borrow? When I kind of fell into hip hop, and I'd probably say like Tribe Called Quest, just some of the records that my dad had laying around, uh, I heard like the jazz elements in there. And then I also was just enamored with like the drums and just like that that heavy like the funkiness of it so it was like jazz it was like these melodies and these like familiar chords uh that already translated to me and that along with like classical music uh like a lot of my influences kind of like far spanning we can go wherever you want babe. my dad was killed when i was in sixth grade and um, he was in the arts, he was a theater guy, uh, dance, anything, was in the Air Force, traveled around the world. As I got older, especially by the time I got to high school, once I graduated high school, I really came to terms with that I wanted to do something that was reflective of all of the, I guess, gifts and just the skills and just the values that he instilled in me, especially as an artist. The way that I interact with people uh, and the relationships that I build, um, the way that I just carry myself in life is being able to love something and be passionate about something and like give it your all and in the same token be able to like release that with the same like intensity and the same like you know, directness. Piano is something that I love and it's the basis of everything that I do but like to take it to an extreme I could easily destroy this because I'll find some other way to create. Um, and if you're a true artist and you have purpose and you're passionate you will always find a way to get those ideas out. <laughs> We can go wherever you want. Hey, 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 hey. I've been doing some mentoring and some like volunteering. Uh, to have kids stop me and be like, you know, I'm, I'm a really big fan of what you do. Like you have inspired me more than you probably even know. And the more that I hear that, I think that's the biggest accomplishment that ability to inspire, to like be able to mentor and like work with, you know, young MCs. I guess that just goes along with that, like that responsibility aspect again of like what the power of music and when you do it right, what you can do. And that's a, especially in the past couple of years with all the crazy stuff going on, I really believe that like the power of change does not rest in, um, in the hands of those who 
have power right now. It's as cliche as it sounds, it definitively is the youth and relies on our ability or inability to inspire them to do greater things. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't find my light, 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 light. But you see, we can go wherever you want, babe, won't, babe, won't, babe, hey. I can't.